If you live in countries like America, Brazil, England and Africa and you are a Christian and despite knowing the things of the Bible, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. It is written in the Bible, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Satan has taken control of your mind, that is why he puts all these things in your mind like drunkenness, sexual fights at home, illness, lack of money, stealing and killing others, because he is very intelligent and that too according to all the verses of the Bible. He knows very well when Jesus Christ fasted for forty days, how he tested Jesus and took him to the mountain and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will give orders to his angels concerning you, and they will carry you away with their hands, lest your feet be struck by a stone. There are many people who see God's works but their eyes are closed. How many people are healed of diseases in Phineas and how the lame walk and the dead come to life? Despite seeing all these things, they do not believe in Christ, it is because their spiritual eyes are closed as it is written in the Bible. Hagar does not see the well of water until God opens her eyes, God opened her eyes, and she saw a well, so she went and filled the bag with water and gave it to the boy to drink. Genesis 19 verse 21, It is God who opens everyone's eyes. Many people think that if we have a lot of money, we do not need God, this is a big misconception of theirs because it is written in the Bible, the answer is no because it is not money but the love of money. The Bible says love of money is all evil. 1 Timothy 6 verse 10, When we consider money to be God, it is not pleasing to God. Because when Jesus called Matthew, he was a tax collector. Matthew promptly left his tax collection position and chose to follow Jesus. He abandoned the source of his wealth, opting for a new life with the Savior. The name, Matthew, itself means, gift from God. It is written in the Bible it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm, then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery.